The Theme Studio allows you to manage the overall look and feel of your website. So I've got a demo project open here and I'm going to open the Theme Studio, which we can do by clicking this mask and paintbrush icon up in the toolbar. And you'll see I'm presented with a selection of different themes. Now I can easily click on these and you can see this changes the look and feel of the website. Let's scroll down a little bit so we can see these buttons here. And if I pick another theme, you'll notice all the curves change on the buttons. This is, this is a very curvy theme with big soft shadows and it's kind of got a green um, natural feel to it. But let's go click on Typesetter and you'll see this is a harsher theme with harsh shadows and more angular corners. So you can just click through these and you can change this at any time. And the reason this works is because we're using theme defaults on our objects in the site. So I would recommend when you're building a site, you use brand colors for uh, the things you want to be that are closest to the brand. Um, these can be your dominant colors and you can use accent colors for things like buttons or secondary items. And we've got the surface colors, which we use for background colors and objects and then the text color which is obviously used for text and if you stick to using these items brand accent surface and text your websites will work with all the themes that we create and that will be created in the future so here if I click on this icon uh, this button here you can see it's using the brand color and we can switch that to using uh, accent color that's for the text there, but we could, uh, let's go down and change the background. So we can do that. But if I change this for uh, maybe this color here or uh, indigo, when I change my theme, that button's not going to change. And that's because it's not using one of these default colors. It looks the same in every theme. So if you want to have this overall support, we recommend using the standard themes colors. So things like brand, accent, surface, and text. Now let's go with that out of the way, let's go through these. And then as I go through these, it will tie more into these colors and hopefully you'll get a better understanding of how this all works. So that's the themes. And in the future, you will be able to create your own themes within Elements. Next up, we have Screens, and this is where you'll set your responsive breakpoints. You probably won't need to touch this too much unless you're very particular about breakpoints, but these are set up pretty much standard across the web. What a lot of other sites are using, these are really, really great defaults. And you can switch them on and off. If you only want to work for mobile screens, you can switch them all the way off and you'll see the icons disappear there depending on what you've got selected. So we can add these back in and you can see them appearing. You can choose which ones to support. You don't have to support them all, um, but there they are. So really easy to configure these. Next up, we've got page settings. Now this is to configure the background of your site. So you'll notice when I switch between the themes, the background color there is also changing. And these are the defaults. You can see that depending on which theme you have selected. And we can override these for your entire site. So this will change the background color for your entire site. So light, for example, we could change to blue. And now we've got this blue color. And even if I change themes, you'll see it stays as blue. Now let me go back to page and again you might want to pick one of these default colors so let's pick surface and I've got a dark I picked a darkish color for my site there but we're using the surface color and this is really important because when we change themes it now uses that dark surface color across 
the entire site no matter which theme I pick we're still with that dark shade which is really good and represents the kind of feeling of the theme so that's really great now let's stick with um, overriding this we'll leave this on the surface color and we'll come to colors next now in this project you can see all the theme colors and these theme colors again surface accent brand black white you've got all your colors there so this is a great way to find out what colors the theme is using and you can have custom colors now I've got a custom color set up here for a logo and you can create as many of these colors as you want you just click in here rename it um, and I'll just call this new and by default it's set up to create a whole palette for you which is very handy when you want to have um, you want like a coherent design on an object so you know our the background of our button could be this deep orange and then our text could be this light orange and that works really nicely together now to change this color we just click on the color well and we get this picker come up and we can pick whatever color we want and you'll notice it's working out a nice palette for us nice shades of that color so that's really handy but what you can also do you can switch it to custom and this allows you to define every single one of these colors perhaps you've created a gradient and all the colors aren't quite as you want them so here we could click and we could just adjust this perhaps you want this to be a little bit darker or lighter or perhaps you want that light color to be something completely different and you could do this for all the colors in here and create a, a single new custom palette maybe for if you had very specific colors for your brand and you knew you only wanted to use these you could define these and then when I come to my site here uh, let's select this container I could select new and then I can pick from those colors so this is really powerful and then those colors become available everywhere so I know that if I always want um, let's go background if I always want uh, to use that color boom so those two items are now using this color and if I come back up to my theme studio and I think oh maybe I want to change this kind of aquary color or the client comes back to me maybe I'm doing client work comes back to me and says you know I want to change that color throughout the entire site is very easy because now you just change it in one place and it's no problem the client can have pink yellow whatever they want you can really tweak that and if you want to put in a hex color on Mac OS you can go to the sliders section RGB sliders and put in a hex value there and give the exact color the client wants or that you want so this is really nice way of working and next up we want to talk about these brand and accent and surface colors again because these are really important like we've said before because really as we've defined this blue color when I change my themes you'll notice this stays the same and that makes it very hard for me to switch themes so really what I should have done here is set these to the brand color and changed them so let's what I'm going to do I'm going to go back uh, or we'll set these to surface or actually let's let's set them to brand for this demo I'll set them to brand and we'll pick this one and brand because this is my my client wants these to be their brand color and right now you know I'm using the system theme and this all looks great but they've said they like the look of this but actually we've changed our brand color and we want a different color so everywhere this blue brand color is used we want that to change and how are we going to do that we don't want to go through here and pick the new color on all your objects that would be very very time consuming let's just change this uh, color here as well to brand oh it's on brand that's good um, so my client has come and said love love the site want to change the brand color to something else so what do we do we hit this duplicate button and this will override the brand color 
boom, and now it's given us brand color at the top here. I'm gonna switch this off of custom so we can change these all together. And my client has said, well, my brand color is now yellow. So we can easily do that, boom, I've changed this, and now you can see all the items have updated to yellow. Let's make that a brighter yellow. So this is really easy to change, and now all these buttons in here, you can see they've all updated to be the brand color. So this is a really quick way to change the overall look of your site. And you know, now it's a, uh, it's really simple to manage these. And you can do the same thing for the accent for any of these colors, like the accent color or the surface. We can just duplicate them, boom, and change this to any color we want. And you can see this changing in the UI there. Perhaps we wanted a soft palette like this. So now I've overridden these two colors. Now, when I switch themes, these will stay overridden. So I can go back here and let's scroll down a bit so we can see these soft shadows and if I switch to typesetter you'll see the shadows change but all my overridden colors stay the same so when I click around here those colors I've overridden they stay the same and if we want to use the themes colors we can get rid of these we can just bin them boom and you can see everything switches back and now we're using the theme defaults so and this is the same for everything in the theme settings if I come down to font family you can see we're using we've got body code heading and quote and if we wanted to use something else for the heading I can right click and override heading I can also create my own um, custom fonts so again we'll call this one new and I could pick a Google font here uh, we could pick a handwriting font. Okay, we'll go with that. So now in my site, I can highlight some text and I can select new. And now this is using that font. And the great thing about this is I can obviously come in here and if I wanna play with different styles, I can pick another font and see how this looks. Now this is obviously I would have to select all my items and set them to new. And this is the same thing we talked about with the colors. What you might want to do, if I wanted to change all my headings, I would override the heading. And now I get to choose up here what the heading should be like. And you can see all of those are changing together. So throughout my site, maybe I don't, I want a mono spaced font. I can do that and all these are changing and updating. So apart from this one, because this is the one we overrode with new. So you can see why this is really important to use these built-in uh, styles because it just makes updating everything really, really easy. Again, I could override the body and um, then yeah, we could switch that to handwriting and you can see that all update. So this is an amazingly powerful way to work. It's essentially visual style sheets without having to write all the CSS code. It's amazing. So there we go. And again, if we wanted to remove these, we can, boom. And now they're back to the way they were. And of course they all get updated with changing the theme. And it's the same with the font sizes. You can create your own sizes here, or you can override these should you want the base size of your fonts for everything, you could increase those. Again, right click, override base, spacing. You're li less likely to change these because these are pretty standard um, spacing, you can see here, but you can create your own, your own spacing there and you know, Maybe you want to have something really big, but it's all customizable. You can remove them. And again, right click override if you really wanted to override the spacing. Same for shadows, right click override or create your own new shadow. Now I will talk about the shadow feature because there's a lot of hidden things in here. Um, we can have multiple points and we can also change the color. Oops. 
of each one and we do that by double clicking here so now we've got a purple and a blue shadow and we change these by clicking on them and then we can adjust their values this does the amount of blur these are the offset values but you can just drag, drag around in here and you can add loads of these and what you can also do you can drag them around so if you wanted to make some of them appear above others you needed them in a certain order let's move that there you know wanted to put that one above that one you can do that and arrange them however you like and there is one more hidden feature in here as well not a lot of people know about this feature when you're moving this what you can do you can actually double click on it and it will turn it from a outer shadow to an inner shadow so you can do this and create an inner shadow there and if you want to switch it back double click boom and it's back to being an outer shadow so those are uh, shadows very powerful feature these are the default built-in ones you can override them same with border width again you can override create your own border radius you you you're getting a gist here again override create your own and the typography settings now typography is a huge subject so i'm not going to go into too much detail here but this has all been set up in each theme and you can override this or create your own and go through and specify settings for all of these for your site um, this is especially useful when you're working with the CMS or large bodies of text you can configure things exactly how you want big topic typography not going to go into all of it here but yes you can configure it there so that's the theme studio really important really key aspect of elements and I would really encourage you when building your site to really use the brand colors, the accent, the surface and the text colors because it will make managing your site and picking new themes and, and changing things that much better. And all the templates that we use in Elements use this, these defaults. So again, if I drop in a hero banner here, it's using the defaults in the theme so when I change the theme, you can see the fonts changing. Uh, and let's do this one here. So yeah. And you can see those colors changing as well, which is really nice. It just means that everything you create will kind of just seamlessly work with your theme. So this is really important. Okay, there we go. You can see it's using the accent color and it's using the text colors. So everything looks nice together. Even though this was a different site, I've just dropped in these templates, any templates, and they just work and fit in with the design of the site. So that's why it's so important here to use these brand accent surface and text colors. Just makes working with things so much nicer in Elements and I can't stress this enough. I'll drop in a audio player here. Again, it looks great, works with the site, uses the site colors. This is such a great system and a way to work. So that's the Theme Studio in Elements. I hope you've learned how powerful it is. I hope you use it on your site to really give that cohesive design. Now, if you've got any questions about the Theme Studio, please check the manual or ask over on the forum where we're always around to help you out. All right, thanks for watching this one and I will see you in the next.